Maybe better than Leon. So Michael Spinks winning tonight. And the arrival of the champion. And you will be able to tell the crowd will pick it up immediately. Angelo Dundee. And this is a crunch. Everybody gets in. The faithful 50 are all, all the faces of the faithful 50. Everything I've written about it is done are right there. You've made this walk, Doctor. What's it like? That's the alley circus. That's the whole panoply. was Leon Spinks for the arrival of the champion. They meet. None of the usual all the antics have been associated with this fight at all. Probably the quietest way in in history. And the fury will start with the sound of that first bell. And Ali is very serious still. He comes over, shakes hands ceremoniously. No kidding around. He's going to kill him with love. He's going to kill him with affection. There's Angelo Dundee with his great old white corner sweater he's worn thousands of fights. Won't trade the it judges in. judges are Harold Buck, Lou Tabbitt, and Art Lurie. The referee is Dave Pearl. The matchmaker for the main event, Mel Greb. This is 15 rounds of boxing for the heavyweight championship of the world. Introducing, in the red corner, hailing from St. Louis, Missouri, the 1976 Olympic gold medalist, weighing 197 and one quarter pounds, Leon Spinks. And in the blue corner, fighting out of Louisville, Kentucky, weighing 224 and one quarter pounds, introducing the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, Muhammad Ali. Dr. Pacheco, I find it interesting that Muhammad Ali made it known at ringside that he wanted to be introduced from Louisville, Kentucky. That takes him back to his roots as a fighter. And it takes him back to the start of his career, a beginning, a middle, and an end. Let's hope it's by choice. Bodini following around, carrying a bucket. He never lets go of that bucket. He won't trust people here. And he gives him strength. See, Bodini, look at him, strength. That's the, that's the uh, witchcraft in him. Let's go over very quickly now. When I tell you to break, I want you to break clean. Uh, watch your low blows. Watch your holding and hitting. Go to the neutral corner. The three knockdown rule is waived. Is that clear? All right, I want to shake hands now. Good luck to you both. That was referee Dave Pearl, and I want you to watch one thing. He is a very small man to be working with a couple of big heavyweights like these two. Leon Spinks reaching down deep inside himself for whatever he's got here tonight up against the heavyweight champion and the legendary Muhammad Ali. People all around the world watching as we get underway. Spinks trying to get in underneath that jab if he can. Going to work on that body. Ali covering up on the ring, trying to absorb the punishment, hoping Leon can punch himself out. And he will at that rate. Dropping down low, those thunderous body shots that through the years, Dr. Pacheco, you know have worn away on Muhammad Ali. And one of the main reasons I don't want him to fight anymore. But Spinks can't keep that up. Ali's given him these runs. The Ali strategy. Let the young man tire himself out. But it's a young man who doesn't know much fear. Gives away four inches in reach. Trying to come under, waiting for the jab. Now 
while he's talking to us. He's Did always talking, isn't he? Tom? Always talking. Always talking. Tawny. Keep fighting, he says. Keep fighting. Like that. Can't you hit any harder? It's gone on for years. Joe Frazier knew it so well in those great wars. The last time out, Ernie Shavers. And what a game fight that was for those two. Well, he seldom remembers what he had to say in the ring after a fight. You can ask him. Now, there is Pearl, the smaller man. He's got to keep Ali from tying up a younger Spinks and wearing him away as he does. Leon seemingly enjoying it, Doctor. Hey, why shouldn't it? It's all been one way now. Ali's giving him a little fun. Ali will grab him around the back of the neck. And this referee is too small to stop him. Again, Ali absorbing punishment. Not quite similar to the rope a that he unleashed on George Foreman over in Zaire, Africa. There he was moving more, but here he's just taking the punishment. Letting Spinks get arm weary. Then he'll come on with one of those patented flurries. Come again, he says. Come again. That's right, he says. Come again. He's a showman, Ali. He lets the man take the first round. Some 35 seconds left in round one. And Ali landed a good right hand. Solomon yelling at Leon not to lower those hands. He has a bad habit of bringing them down. Trying to come up over the top. And he better not try to talk with Ali, or Ali will break his jaw. That's Ali's trick. No other fighter can do it to him. In the middle of the ring, you can see what the difference in size will be to Spinks. End of round one. Set down, dude. No. Greece. Yeah. On Saturday, the CBS Sports Spectacular, the European Figure Skating Championships, and the World Two-Man Bobsled Championships, 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time, 3.30 Central and Pacific. Dr. Pacheco, over in the corner. Muhammad Ali told Angelo Dundee he's young. Look across the way, Angie. He's not even sitting down over there. And this is one of the few times Ali has sat down. He never sits down himself. And it's another one of those little ploys of Ali's to make the other guy think he's getting old and tired. You never know with Ali. Unpredictability, his main quality. Spinks. Look at that reach, how he can hold Spinks off, and Leon just keeps pursuing. Spectacular in the way he outthinks people. Leon will try to do damage in tight when he's tied up. Trying to come in underneath that jab. Over the top as Ernie Shavers did in the garden with that thunderous right of Shavers, but even Ernie couldn't stop Ali. Down with that right hand. Down and up with the jab. 55 and 2. Ali's got a familiar tactic besides the talking, of course, of holding on to the back of your neck if he can. Ali's not jabbing with him. Ali's letting him get, a, get in close without jabbing. Ali's pawing out there, an ineffective pawing tactic that he perfected against Tony Wister. But he's not jabbing. He has worked Show me. hard on his legs in preparation for this fight. Ali says, he's going to have to move, and Ali said, let's do it. Come on, show me what you got. You're not tired, he says, you're not tired. Come on, show me. Well, he might not have talked for the three weeks prior to the fight, but he saved it up for right now. He wanted to talk to Leon. We've got a minute left, and this is the second round. Heavyweight Championship of the World, live on CBS. Hard to get to Ali as tall as he is with the jab. Leon's trying. Spinks is trying hard. And why not? Over in Spinks. Leon lunging out with the right. You can 
see, no damage done. Trying to do more what Joe Frazier did. Trying to bob and weave as he comes in. Allie willing to give away these first runs. He's gotten hit by a couple of very hard right hands, but Allie, nothing for Allie. And Dr. Pacheco, we're still waiting for the first flurry from the champion. We've gone through two rounds in Las Vegas. Keep him on the spell. You got to lose him on. Yes. Yeah. I think the first round was even. We blew the second. Got to keep him. Like to see a box though. A perfect guy to box. Let's go. Let's right. go out there. Live in Las Vegas, ready now for the third round. Angelo Dundee told Muhammad Ali that he thought the first round was even, but that they had lost the second. But he said, go out and box a little bit more. Don't give him quite so much. So let's see if Ali comes up on the toes and tries to give us a flurry. Now this is Ali as, as he used to be. The great Ali, pounding with a kind of a jab that takes your head off. Doesn't look like much. It's what Boudini calls snake licking and bouncing, but he can't do this for long. He can do it for a round, and then he's going to come down. I know you like to appreciate Ali, but keep an eye as to how Spinks handles this tactic. What kind of defense will he use? Where will he go against that left jab? Can Ali open up a cut over either of those eyes? And he's cutting off the ring on him pretty good. You bet he is. Sliced him off beautifully that time. Come back punching, and Ali's gone into his shell. And Angelo's directly in front of Fox and Fox and this guy's a sucker for Fox. Just under two minutes left in the third round. Fix is taking both rounds, in my opinion, using this tactic. And if he continues, he'll take this round, dude. But when does he get arm weary against Alfio Ricchetti? He'll even choke with you a little bit. He has not been intimidated about being in that ring with Ali. Ali either roared or yawned, depending on how you were looking at that. Sam Solomon has done an excellent job with Leon Spinks. He's getting down off that straight up and down stance that he used in Montreal. Yes, he's a fine developed player in just uh, six rounds and six fights in his fight. Ali's bouncing beautifully now. He sure is. This, this is an alley of the old legs. Can't keep it up for an entire round as he showed us. This is the second time. Worked hard down in Miami Beach. There's the flurry. He saw Leon duck down. Moved in with that reach. Coming down with those punches. Now inside of a minute. And again, it's Leon. Those hooks, but they don't hurt him. It's, you see the face is getting hit with the hooks, but it's not hurting him. One thing about Muhammad Ali, he has never received enough credit for his ability to take punches. He can take punches with anyone who's ever been in the heavyweight division. George Foreman, Joe Frazier, Bernie Shavers, they've all thumped away at this man as Leon Spinks is doing right here. Now Leon has found a little uppercut inside between those two gloves. Some of those punches are low, but they're not effective. Spinks is working very hard here. I don't know if he can keep this up for 15 rounds. It's a brutal pace for him, Dr. Pacheco. And Ali hasn't done much yet. I step back. Angelo Dundee expected Leon to start standing up straight along about the fourth round. We've now gone through three. We'll see if Angelo was correct. Round four, between rounds, Angelo Dundee said to Muhammad Ali, he got a couple of them through, you've got a slight nosebleed. Dr. Pacheco, how far ahead have you got young Spinks right now? I've given him all three rounds. Uh, Ali obviously is letting him take uh, the play, hoping he gets tired. If he doesn't get tired, this could be a long, long night in Las Vegas. It can if Ali cannot pull up that reserve of energy and that champion's heart that he's always had. Remember, Ali has got a heart as big as a... Las Vegas Hilton, and he pulls it out when he has to. That's what makes showed it against Shavers in the last 30 seconds of the 15th round of the Garden. Great reserve of energy that he can call on. Hold it up, hold it up, hold it up. He did come the first out. piece no of sharp shooting he's done since then. He's let Spinks come in, and he Get nailed him with up. a little right hand coming in. Put your elbow now. Now coming with the right hand on Spinks. 
Leon, hands come down. It's been a bad habit that he has had. Get the hands off his neck. There is Pearl warning him to get the hands off of Spinks' neck. It's hard to do. Nobody can control Ali doing that. It's a reflective mistake. He just hit him with a straight right hand again. Get your hands off. Ali's sharp shooting this round. It's as if to say, this is a little bit of what's coming for you. Get your hands up. Now the ring tactician Ali is starting to go to work. There's Pearl warning him again about the hand on the neck. That's the second warning. It will be interesting to see whether on the third warning he'll take a point away. They're supposed to. There's that reach and that flurry. Ali standing there. Leon trying to get up and in underneath. You see, this is Spinks' best shot. When Ali was getting started there, if he had let Ali continue, he would have received about 20 punches. But he pushed him back into the ropes, and Ali's letting him go, letting him punch. This will lose the rounds for Ali. But Ali's banking, he's gambling that it'll cost. Step back, step back. It'll cost Spinks energy. Ali climbing just a bit, trying to influence the three judges, no doubt, who are scoring this. He was successful in the second round against Shavers back in the garden. The bluff worked, and Ernie didn't follow up. Now there's blood from Ali's mouthpiece. I think his, lip, his bottom lip is split there. Dr. Pacheco, you might be the first to announce. Oh, sorry. left in round four. That's the first real piece of fighting Ali has done. And I must say that young Sphinx responded courageously. Perfect. Up. He doesn't get hit right before the bell. We've gone through four. On five, Muhammad Ali told Angelo Dundee he thought Leon Spinks was tired already. Dr. Ferdy Pacheco, what about the cut on Ali's mouth? Well, he split his lip a little bit. Angelo says it's nothing, but when he got up, he spit a whole mouthful of blood there. I'm afraid that it might be a little bit into the uh, inside of the mouth. But he's waiting for Spinks to get tired. He's hoping for Spinks to get tired. Let's see if he does get tired. Keep an eye on Leon. Muhammad believes he's tired right now as we start the fifth round. Leon Spinks has never been beyond 10 twice in his career against Ledoux, against Rigetti. Angelo had that round ahead for Ali. I had it even. So you would have a 3-1 right on. now, Spinks. Right, Doctor? Right. Remember, it's the three judges, not the referee who does the scoring here in Nevada. Jim Spinks takes Ali over to his corner. Up, Muhammad's still talking. He threw a hard right hand. He sure did that time, and Leon got underneath it. He gets hit by that kind of a right hand from Ali. He's in real trouble. The champion trying to tee off. He's dead serious right now. And here comes Spinks, backing him into the corner directly above us. Pearl quickly separates him. And this is really Ali looking for action. This is Ali looking for an exchange here. So he can drop that right hand in. The blood flowing down from that cut. Telling Leon to hit him. Hit me, man. Hit me. The Ali is really cooking. Over a minute left in the fifth round. But come back, Sphinx. And Ali does that phony baloney uh, oh, fading act job. of his, which isn't going to fool anybody. But, uh, step back. Good. Leon stepped right back into him, though. Get your hands off his neck, Ali. There's that warning from Pearl. Staying on Ali. I'm impressed with the small man doing the refereeing so far, Doctor. Right. And Ali very flexible, you see. He's picking his shots, and Spinks is making his first mistake, and he stays on that one. And he came off. He must have read your thoughts, Dr. Pacheco, in a fury he came off. Come on up. If he stays on those ropes, Ali will take his head off. About 30 seconds left, and this is the fifth round. Where are the critics now who said they should not have matched Leon Spinks against Muhammad Ali? He, he, he is making a mistake in letting Ali take command here and, and do some punching. He is tired. But he will be getting hit with that. Still staying down as he was taught. We close out round five. Corners! Program reminder.
Friday next Tuesday night on CBS, the celebrity challenge of the sexes. Tom Brookshire will be there. So too will Elkie Summer and Pat Harrington on the obstacle course, 8 p.m. Eastern time on CBS. Let's now check in on Angie Dundee. Close your mouth. Just go. Doctor, it. Don't look for one, baby. Don't look for one. Dr. Pacheco, Muhammad Ali did not sit down between those two rounds. That means he's warmed up and ready for action. Ali is getting in second gear here. Here in the sixth round, Leon Spinks still moving up on his toes. Angelo Sellers, don't look for one. Don't look for that one punch. Dance into it. Dance into the combinations. That's what Ali does good. Once he starts dancing into combinations, the rest of the things follow. As you can see what he's doing with his jazz. Getting up on those toes, that familiar dance that we have seen so often since 1964. What a fabulous career Muhammad Ali has had. What a spectacular athlete to 36 years of age be able to put on this type of performance. He looks just like Ali of 10 years ago. And yet... He's 36. Moving and sticking and Spinks trying to circle and cut him off. And the young man from St. Louis now fighting out of Philadelphia again takes him into the room. Dr. Pacheco, how have you got it scored so far? So far I've got it 3-1 one and 1 even. I've got Ali winning the last round and the fourth round even. Therefore, it means that Ali's turning the tide. All right, step out. Go offside, Jimmy the Greek, how have you got it so far? I think Spink has won every round. All right, on, Muhammad Spink. Ali will have to show us Running something loose. from here Running on loose. in the sixth. But again, he has been confident in his corner. Let us repeat that the cut has not bothered him between rounds, even with his best doctor seated alongside me. Dr. Ferdy Pacheco, I'm Brent Musburger, and we certainly hope you're enjoying this action live from Las Vegas. Fakes looks like he has a little cut on his lower lip right, also, evening out. Come on out, hold it, no punch on him. You got time, step in with him. Dick, 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 dick! Dick, 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 dick! I was going to say, he's going to drop that right hand in. You can see Ali's face and his hand just before he lets it go, and you know it's coming. Leon Spinks facing the greatest con man in the history of boxing. You never know what Muhammad Ali will hit you with next. He's shown him the so right hand. Quickly, Hold doctor. It. Step back. Step back, please. Oh. Turn him loose. And of course, among those watching, Ken Norton. He wants nothing more than Muhammad Ali to win this oh, so he can off. face him. They had three hard, grueling matches. At the end of each one, it was hard to tell who won. Give him up now. Norton watching carefully. And Spinks again has got Ali covered oh, up on back, the ropes. It is unbelievable to me that Muhammad Ali has been able to take this punishment throughout his 17-year career and still retain the championship fighting men like Ken Norton three times. Unbelievable story. All right, take your hands off his next step. And don't raise it three times. Don't, don't forget Smokey Joe, one of the greatest champions of our last decade. We come down to the end of the sixth All round. Round seven, Muhammad Ali being told by his corner plenty of time. George Benton, meanwhile, was doing a lot of talking to Leon Spinks over in his corner. It was Benton who came in and said to Leon, we have got to move more like Smoke and Joe Frazier did. And he's got him down. Doctor, I'm impressed with the way Leon has followed instructions in this fight. I'm, I certainly am. Right now, he's doused with water. But he is getting down, and he's getting over He's, got, he's gotten over the first round jitters and has really been popping. Oh, get your hand off his neck now. Come he's on. out here, cheered his Step brother back. on to victory in an eight on. rounder on. against Tom Bethea. Then he went back to his locker room. Danny Lopez defended his featherweight championship, knocked out David Colbert. Now, Eddie Gregory beat Jesse Burnett in a 10 rounder. Now it's the heavyweight championship of the world, the seventh round on CBS. That's another round that Ali's dancing. Now that's a little surprise. He's been dancing a little bit in every round and resting a little bit in every round. If you rest too much, he blows the round. Two minutes left, and keep in mind, if you're gonna decision Ali, you better get it big because the close ones are gonna go to the champion. That's been the trend. <laughs> I wonder if there's ever been a heavyweight that moved with this grace and skill. Hold it up, hold it up, hold it. No punch There have been very few athletes move with this grace and skill. Think what kind of a football player Muhammad Ali would have made. Where would you put him? Interesting thought, isn't Anything it? Anything he wanted, he could have done. <laughs> There's Leon directly above us. Again, piling up points as we go along. Maybe not as tired as Ali believed. Come on, 
Punch out. Minute 50 to go in the seventh round. All right, hold it up, hold it up. And it was Dave Pearl getting them separated, bringing them to the center of the ring. The rap on Dave Pearl is even small, but he's doing a great job. Now, Leon doesn't want to make a mistake lunging like that against Ali. Ali will co-cock you. And he did with a good right hand. Ali's looking for that sneaky right hand over the left. Into Ali's corner goes the champion. Step out clean. Come on. Use your Now they look much better this way. Use your left. Use your left. Better round for the champion. We have finished seven in Las Vegas. Keep on watching. Still standing. Okay. And walk. It's all right. Close your mouth. He's starting to stand up, this kid. That's his old style. You'll nail him. There it was. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it, Wally. Watch it. <laughs> Wally, get out of Angie's way. But you heard it. That's what Dundee's been waiting for. And put heat on him. Houdini exhorts him. Put heat on him. And in the other corner, they say one more round. Just wait one more round. What's he going to wait for? Watch Leon. Will he be able to duck down, or will he come straight up and down as he did throughout his amateur career? As you get tired, you resort to your old ways. Angelo says, look, he's standing up. Give him a little bit of time, you can get nailed. But he's still coming on, even though he's standing up. Standing up isn't bad, as long as you're punching. When you're standing up not punching, it's big trouble with Ali. This is the eighth round. Pursuing with that left hand, but again, Leon can't lunge like that and stand straight up and down. The difference is Ali can top from that position effectively, whereas Leon has to go up a ladder to hit him with the jab. See, he's a little tired. He's uh -oh. Sometimes Ali's best attack is when he's moving backwards. He's one of the few men who can lean back like that and deliver a devastating blow. And throw a right hand off that. There he is. He just hold did it. it. Hold it. Come on out. Fixed this pattern on the butt. It's been a remarkable showing by Leon Spanks, though, hasn't it? Yes, but he's slowing down this round. Ali hey, covering up. up. Leon told me he had absolutely nothing to lose here tonight. He said, I'm not going to get hurt even if I lose this fight. Well, he's not on the way to losing now. He's on the way to becoming a great fighter if he keeps this up. I want to know what he trained on for breakfast, beer, and eggs. Try that diet sometimes. <laughs> I think he was trying to put on some weight, but that was Take the wrong idea. He's got the right weight, the right size, and he's fighting just right. His corner's instructed him well, and so far his fight's going his way. I step back. But you don't know with Ali till you come to the crossroad. When Ali gets to that crossroad and says, it's my fight from here on out, it's a different fight. Dr. Pacheco, he's a magician, as you so well know. And he's an orchestrator, he's a dramatist. He knows how to do it. This is his stage. All right, come on out. He's invited back. all of you along. And Ken Norton is hoping there's at least one more night. Hey, hold it up, hold it up. Come on out. As long as Ali's boxing, it's his run. When Ali stops on the ropes and gives it to the kid, it's not. This may be the quietest the gambling tables have been at the Hilton Hotel all week. Everyone is jammed into the doorways. You couldn't get in here with a shoehorn tonight. It's the hottest ticket in town. Lou Rawls and all the others are going to have to wait for Muhammad Ali and Leon Spanks to finish up. Here we've got 
that slow motion from the eighth round that was just concluded as Leon Spinks and Muhammad Ali exchange punches. Now, Doctor, this is one of those close rounds that can go either way. Who did you give that round to? I gave that round to Ali on boxing and general skill. He did a much better job. How have you got it overall at the end of eight unofficially? 4-3-1 Spinks. But Spinks is slowing down. He has not done really great since uh, six rounds. Jimmy the Greek upstairs, what have you got? I got Spinks five, two, and one. Come on, hurry up. Five, two, and one. Spinks ahead. Too Pearl much wanting a towel. Okay. What do they got? Vaseline or water? Too much there. water. Too much water. He's drowned him in water. Well, Solomon says, wait till this round. Let's see what he promised in this round. Now, Doctor, you noticed that Leon looked a little tired. So this could be a critical round for the young man. His yeah. mother, Kay, Michael Spinks, all yelling yes. encouragement. He took one coming in that time. And he gave a very low blow to Ali and then came back with a hook while Ali was looking at him. He thinks he's got Ali in trouble. That's the way to go out. But, it, but in the meantime, he landed about 15 unanswered blows. Step back, step back, Clint. Remarkable, Ali. He's still dancing. He worked hard on those legs, on, Dr. Pacheco, on, down in your hometown, down in Miami. He ran, didn't spar too much, jumped a lot of rope, moved around the ring. And let's say he is a $6 million man when it comes to a body. There's never been a body of any athlete that I've examined with anything like this. But he's still 36, Brent, and you got to pay the price for staying here on earth that long as an athlete. Oh, straight good right hand by Ali on Spinks landed high on the temple. I don't think it bothered him, but it's an omen of things to come. There were a lot of folks who thought ninth or tenth might be it for young Spinks. He'll stand down, Ali covering up over here on the ropes. Come on out. Coming out with that left hand. 105 left in the ninth. Hold on, he a pushing. Ah, let's do a pushing right hand. Leon coming in on him that time. Leon's fighting in spurts, also conserving his energy. Smart, not too smart to get caught in this corner. Though. He must get out of there. Show left, show left. Good right hand. How did he come for that right? Show left. Oh, I haven't, seen that. I haven't seen Ali throw an uppercut like that in years. Like come on up. Side left uppercut by Ali, caught him by surprise. Leon yeah, will have to keep those hands up now if he's going to go toe to toe. Yeah, Giving gets... away four inches. Now it's Ali coming in. Tag Spinks. It's Ali on the end tag. Let's go. You're listening to Muhammad Ali's corner. No, he's ready. He's ready. You had him hurt. From Angie Dundee. Let's get him. The left hook will do it. Spinks has been set up. We start the tenth round. And if Spinks is ready to go, he doesn't know it. As he came out with four punches. And he's taking much more punishment when he's straight up like that, Doctor. Trying to come on. We're about to find out how much young Spinks can take. He's never been beyond the 10th round. He's been here twice against Scott Ledoux and Alfio Rigetti. Now against the champion, and he could be in trouble. He took a deep breath, which shows he's a little tired. But he's got to get off with his back to the rope. Got to get away from that. Ali will lead him up on the rope. No question about him being tired. This corner's yelling at him. And as you were telling us, Dr. Pacheco, he's taking his beating. And Angelo, that great corner brain stole him. He's ready to go. Let's go. Houdini's second the emotion, and now Ali's putting it in practice. 
isn't it unbelievable that a man like Ali can still come on like this when he's told? That's what made him such a great fighter for so many years. He's a great ring brain in the middle of the ring, and he's got a great ring brain in the corner. Unbeatable combination. Ali threw it, a little uppercut there that would have landed, but he threw it from too far out. Half of the tenth round left. And you're wondering, what is Spinks thinking about? Where did he get out of there? There he comes. He's gone in a sort of apathetic state. He's gone uh, dull, listless. He's not peppy. He's found out that to be in there with a champion, you've got to take some shots. Not objecting to being tied up as he did in the first few rounds. Minute left in the tent. Spinks talking to Ali. Dr. Pacheco, you've got what, Ali, winning the last three rounds on your yeah, official card? We're, we're now even, four, four, and one. And certainly Ali's got this one going. Ali's little rhythm is to set a, a, set a, a series of very light little punches that didn't come in with a very heavy punch. He was just setting it up then when Spinks upset the timing by coming back with a combination. Spinks must fight here, he's gonna be beaten up. If he doesn't punch, he's not gonna be around for much longer. We close out the 10th round live in Las Vegas. Leon Spanks is about to enter no man's land. He's never been to the 11th round in his life. Give me the Greek from your vantage point. How have you got it scored? I've got it 5 4 and 1 Spinks. Dr. Ferdy Pacheco, how do you have it scored? Five, four, and one. But the winner, Ali, at this point. The eleventh round. Spanks tired, as you can see. You can see how straight up and down he is. How he will tie Muhammad Ali up. And here comes the master. Angelo's told him, just one good body shot, Ali. Ali hadn't seen a body shot since the Second World War. Just one good body shot, then come over, and it's all over. And he's probably right. If he would throw it, that would be the end. Excellent overhead view here by one of our cameramen, Frank Cherkenny, and our producer director inside the truck. This is for the heavyweight championship of the world. And Leon is beginning to show that wear and tear. The hands coming down, punches coming in above them, Ali circling him. But he doesn't give up. You gotta give this kid credit. Turn him off, turn him off. He's got all that spirit of the Marine Corps. He just keeps coming. Bernie, this could help his career. He's learned a lot here tonight. Well, it's not over. Listen, we'll get the rest. You bet. Minute and a half left in the 11th round. This is just the third quarter. We gotta go to the end of the game. The fourth quarter belongs to us. Isn't that oh, what yeah. they say? <laughs> Look at Ali up on those toes again. Dr. Pacheco, you've been surprised by that. The amount of time he's been able to dance here tonight. I'm amazed by Ali's uh, footwork here. I have not seen him do that in a long time. This late in the fight, especially. He, almost every round he's danced a little. Now that's not like Ali, and it just shows that he wants to show the world, listen, there's still a lot of life left in the old guy. A minute left to the 11th. All right, come on out, turn in. Referee Dave Burr. The three judges are scoring, not the referee. They hand in their scoring slips at the conclusion of each round. And this proves the old axiom in boxing. There are no easy fights. Until they're all over with, none of them are easy. And this is certainly not easy for Ali. A lot of writers said this was going to be a bad fight, but I didn't see any of them giving up their ringside tickets out here the last couple of days. And anytime Ali fights, you see anybody giving up any tickets. Look at this exchange. Young Spinks and Muhammad Ali in the 11th round comes to an end with a furious exchange. Now let's 
Pacheco over to the corner. Dr. Pacheco, we want to stay here and keep an eye on Muhammad Ali and what Angie Dundee is going to say to him now. Bingham with the camera. Come on now. Here we've got action from the 11th round. As Spinks showed us something in that 11th, Dr. Pacheco, first time he'd ever reached it in his life. And so did Ali. Whether you love him or hate him, you've got to admit he's a hell of a champion. You respect him. He has earned nothing less as an athlete. We are in the 12th round. And I got to take my hat off to that young man from the Marine Corps, that Olympic champion from St. Louis and Philadelphia, Leon Spinks. We've already taken it off to Muhammad Ali. We don't have to tell you the kind of athlete he's been. Toe to toe, they're coming down the stretch. Ali is getting set for some heavy, heavy bombardment. When you see him spread out and look real hard, you know he's looking for the opening because he's throwing everything he's got in a hard way. Two, jabs Two quick jabs out over the top. The lethal damage that he has done throughout his career with that left. Cut up Jerry Corey when Corey gave him a chance to come back that night in Atlanta. What a scene that was for all of us who were there. But look at Six. He just won't be intimidated. He keeps fighting. He keeps coming back. Turn him loose. Wonderful amount of heart that Leon Spinks has showed tonight. And let me tell you, he's not behind. He's right even. It's You've what got it even, now. right, Doctor? Yes, indeed. It's all what right, happens from here to the finish. This fight is a long way from over. tell you it's Muhammad Ali territory from the 11th to the 15th is Muhammad Ali territory where he took care of Ken Norton the last time where he took care of Ernie Shavers and with that last 30 second barrage in the garden he's gonna get hit with the right hand look at him just waiting like he has doc Leon looking down at us, wondering who's yelling instructions. It's Michael Spinks right behind me, who's talking to his brother. And spurred by that little uh, exhortation from his brother, he puts Ali on the ropes and puts in a few unanswered shots. Michael wanted the right hook, and he delivered it, Doc. And I must say, the referee, as little as he is, has done a wonderful job here. We were wondering whether or not he could keep this going, and he's done a heck of a job. He's made him fight. I don't think I've ever seen a man that small referee a heavyweight championship match. Now he's coming on again. Leon's got to start jabbing. He's going to take tremendous punishment here. And Ali must be thinking what's holding this youngster up. I've hit him some great shots. I'll tell you what, the Marine Corps. Maybe that's what's holding him up. Whatever they taught him, they taught him well. From the hills, the shores, and wherever else they went, here's Leon Spinks on a battlefield in Las Vegas, and he's done a job regardless of what happens here. Talking to Muhammad about this fight with Leon Spinks as his brother, Rockman Ali. Dr. Pacheco, how many times has he come up there before like that? Every fight. Every fight that there is. He loves his brother dearly. Round 13. 
Dr. Pacheco, how have you got it right now on official? 642 Alley. Jimmy the Greek, how about your unofficial car? I've got five, four, and one space. Uh, I've got space ahead by one round, Greg. All right, Greek, thank you. Here we are in the 13th round. You know, it's so hard to score a fight when you've spent all those years in so many rings all over the world with Ali. But I, uh, I tend to be pessimistic, but Ali's just been doing a job on Spinks in the last few rounds. Dr. Pacheco, if you'd been my doctor as long as you'd been Ali's, I'd expect for you to pull for me like you have got to be doing deep down in your heart, but you're not taking a thing away from the courage and the talent of Leon Spinks. Not at all. I felt he was going to give him a good fight. He's given him an exceptionally good fight. This is a close fight. Call it. Come on up. Better than two minutes left in the 13th. Leon still bouncing a little bit, Doctor, even if he is straight up and down. There's that warning from Dave Pearl. The valley and the Sphinx can survive and pull that little extra gas tank out that he should have at 24. We are going to have us a questionable decision, a real close fight. Here's Leon trying to build it up in the 13th round. As both Dr. Bertie Pacheco and Jimmy the Greek have told you, the fight is on the line if it goes the distance. Get your hand off. Step back. Turning loose. Step back, step back. Just over a minute left. Step out, step out, clean. Sitting next to me is Gil Clancy, a longtime friend and a great, great judge of boxing. He has Sphinx ahead, 6 5 1. Inside of a minute. Round 13. And there are worried looks in the corner of Ali. Bodini exhorting from the corner, pounding on the back of young blood. Wally and the corner yelling, take it to him, champ, take it to him. Now that great warrior through the years is going to have to reach down. It now becomes a matter of reserve. And, and no one's got more of it, Ferdy, than Ali. Jimmy Ellis now has moved close to that corner. Hold it up. Jimmy Hold Ellis, up. a former great champion, who took a terrific beating from Ali, but loves him like a brother. Spinks Hold just keeps on back, trucking as we wind down the 13th round in Las Vegas. You can hear the crowd. They sense something's in the offing here. They know what the great champion has got to do because the young man has brought nothing but courage and talent into this ring. And here comes Leon Spinks after him. A chance to take away that championship. A chance to do what Ali did to Sonny Liston back in 1964. Now the difference is that Liston quit and they'll never and be a day. quit here with Muhammad Ali. You better believe that, Dr. Pacheco. No one will ever see the day when this man quits. Houdini almost in tears saying, Rumble, champ, Rumble, trying to bring back the days of old, but can you bring them back at 36? And here's this young kid with his corner telling him, you got it, you're ahead. Pressure, that's when Ali fights the best. 14 and 15. Don't let him take it away. There's never been more of it than right now. Will he get careless? Back 
second into the ropes, oh. and here is Leon Spinks. He followed him into the ropes. Spinks followed Ali and nailed him with a hard right hand. And I hope Ali's the critics are feeling some of the sting of these shots. They said this was a match that never Why should not? be made, and here it is. The 14th round, and, and the now, young man's got a chance. And now Spinks looks fresh. Oh, what a bomb. Directly above us, he's coming at him. Step back. Ali cannot wait. He's making him back off of the jab and almost trip over his legs. I've never seen Ali do that. Leon Spinks, Dr. Pacheco, has caught a bit of a second wind, as you might expect from a 24-year-old, and he has been relentlessly coming on. If he doesn't make a big mistake, he can upset the world heavyweight champion. He has the championship in his grasp. It's a close fight, but he's taking the late rounds here. We go down to one minute left in the 14th round. If he doesn't make a mistake here, Ali is in some kind of trouble for the last round. There is Michael Spinks with a smile on his face. He won earlier, eight round decision, as he yelled encouragement to Leon. Now it's Michael's turn to see if the Spinks jinx can work twice in Las Vegas. Spinks is doing everything right and nothing wrong. Inside of 30. Into Spinks' corner. Leon pursues the champion. Pouring in. And the champion is holding his head again, which means he's tired. Now Ali's getting ready to throw that right hand, and he did, but too soft. That's what Leon's got to do, keep fighting. Ali's got to come from somewhere. One round to go. The heavyweight championship on the line. We are back, and here it is, the 15th round, and it is so close. This could be the pivotal round. Many people here at ringside say Muhammad Ali has got to have a knockout, or he's going to lose it to Young Spinks. Spinks feels it, and he can taste the heavyweight championship, and if he doesn't make a mistake, he just may have a heavyweight championship. One of the most unbelievable nights in sport. The 24-year-old from St. Louis and Philadelphia with seven professional fights. A chance to take it away from Muhammad Ali, who has fought 57 times. Only 31 rounds until tonight. And here he's battling Leon Spink, going for the title. And if Spinks has the energy to keep this up for another round, he will have won it in many of, of ringsiders opinion. Ali looks like he's conserving his energy, but he better not wait too long. This is the last gas. Just in oh, he just nailed him. Ali just nailed him with a right hand, a repeat right hand. Can he follow it up now? If Spinks lets him out of that corner, he's a fool. Now he's got him on the rope. Now comes Ali. Now comes Ali, the champion. Now comes Ali, the man who knows how to win in He's the end. He's got Spinks in trouble over here with that last right, Doctor. Now Spinks comes on. Leon Spinks, hold it, is, hold oh. it, 15th round. But Spinks is weary. He's falling back. Unbelievable. We're inside of a minute and a half to go. It has been a night to remember. Here comes Ali. Here comes Ali. The corner told him he had to have the knockout. Oh, he's in trouble. Now, Spinks is in trouble. It Spinks has got to hold on for just over a minute. Everyone's on their feet now. You can see them coming up behind the press row. If Ali's got anything left in the last 30-second pick, he can knock him out. A minute now to go. But they're both tired. Ali can't figure this out. Oh, this is so Spinks important now everything. for this final flurry, Doctor. This is where Muhammad Ali has always been able to reach down into the bag of tricks. And my heart is bleeding for Ali. He can put this kid away, and he does not have it at 35 to 36 to come get him. He does not have it to come get him. Spinks stays. Solomon yelling at him. Stay out of trouble. Muhammad trying to come on. It's a countdown. Time in Las Vegas. It, oh, it Ali. Right, it Ali with that left. 20 seconds. If they can both hold on, we might have another champion. Ali is exhausted. What a great night. Two tremendous warriors. Let me remind you, we're going to go to a station break. Then we're going to be back for a decision as we wind down one of the great nights in the history of the heavyweight division. What a fight. It's over. We'll be back. We're going to hold on as everyone runs into the ring. 
They think over in Spink's corner that he's won it. Look at the Spinks people. Michael is up there. They're hugging Leon. They feel for sure that they have taken away the heavyweight championship. Good joy over there. Give me the mic, go! There is Leon. 24 years old. Dr. Pacheco, how did you wind up with it? I wound up 762 Spinks. Gil round up 951 Spinks, and I imagine the Greek wanted 843 Spinks. So all the last three round. of our experts at ringside, Jimmy the Greek, Gil Clancy, and Dr. Ferdy Pacheco, have given this fight to the challenger. There is the great champion's corner. Straighten him right up with that left coming underneath. The knee. Uppercut it beautifully. Sensational last round. A sensational last round, but my heart is bleeding for a man who has been so great. You can't say enough, Doctor, about what Muhammad Ali has done for this division. Boxing. There is more action. You can't say what he's done for the world of sports. For his racing course. Here's the ring announcer, Chuck Hall. We have a split decision. <laughs> Judge Art Louie scores 143, 142, Ali. <laughs> Judge Lou Tabbitt scores 145, 140, Sphinx. <laughs> Judge Harold Buck scores 144, 141, the new. There it is, Sphinx has won it. Leon Sphinx has won the heavyweight championship of the world. Incredible, incredible. What a heart this young kid has got. Michael Spinks, Leon being hoisted high to the crowd. To beat the great Muhammad Ali with six fights, this gentleman has got to be given every credit in the world. He beat an Ali that's 36, but he beat an Ali that's all heart. Doctor, I've got to join you at this moment of jubilation for that courageous young man right there to pour my heart out to Muhammad Ali too, because I know how many people had asked him to retire for the last several years to step away from the punishment, the Joe Frazier's and the Ken Norton's, all of that wear and tear told here tonight in Las Vegas. It was not just Leon Spinks with that great performance. It was a man 36 years old and age and all of that wear and tear finally told here tonight. And there is the new champion. And there may, may be a good moral to this because if this means that Ali will quit fighting, then I must go on record as saying I'm glad he lost. I, I, I feel that he should have retired and Let's go to Bob Halloran right now. Bob. Okay, Ali, you went down as a great champion, a great 15th round. There must be a great deal of disappointment. Well, naturally, you want to go out with title. And that's all our guards knew. This is real. It was a close fight. Could have been either way, but he's the most aggressive, so. I imagine he won. You think he took it because he was the most aggressive in the early rounds where he piled up most of his points? Well, for whatever reason, he took it, he took it, so can't take it from him. I think what millions of people all over the world want to know now, is this the last fight and the last time we're ever going to see one of the greatest right. champions of all time, Muhammad Ali? Well, I would like to do something which has never been done before. They rob you. Unless to be the uh, third man to regain the title. Uh -huh. What about fighting uh, Leon again and getting it, getting it back? Probably, I think it was a good fight. The public will win. And I'll just have to, have to decide if I want. Were you completely pleased with your performance tonight, or do you think you should have been a little more aggressive and trying to take him out earlier? Well, I did the best I could. Uh, he proved all the reporters wrong. They said he didn't have a chance. But I knew he was a good fighter. That's why I fought him. What? But uh, it's just another experience in life, nothing to cry about. Well, you went out as a great champion. Congratulations to you. Yeah. One of the greatest of all time, yeah, Muhammad Ali, indicating he may be back. No, no. And we'll be back we'll with uh, talk with we'll Leon Sphinx right after we'll this station break. Back.
And a lot of people didn't think you could do it, but just like Ali did it to Liston, in 64, you have done it tonight. Thank you. Is that, uh, I trained hard, I tried hard. I knew it would be a hard training, I mean, a hard time to fight to beat my man Ali. And I knew I had to really suffer and dedicate myself to the, to the training to beat him. I, I heard that I had a big opportunity to beat my man. Where did you hear that? Well, it, I heard it all over the world. People say it. I know a lot of people wouldn't give me, but a lot of people say I can do it. And I pulled it. And I thank God, God, the main man that looked over me to give me this belt. He was always an idol of yours, but you showed no respect for him. You went right after him at the, at the opening well, we belt. Well, we know, man, Ali know both of how our job is. We know what we got to do to be the man on top. And Lord knows that uh, I tried and God gave me the strength. He said that if the people want it, he will come back and fight you again. Would you fight him again? Yeah, I got, I'm going to give him a tight shot. Before you fight anybody else, you're going to give him a fight first? I don't know. I ain't decided yet. Okay. Congratulations to you, Leon. And we hope to see you again. Okay, Brent. That's it. So here we are, the round that people will remember forever, the 15th round in Las Vegas. Muhammad Ali is still the champion, the young challenger, 24-year-old Leon Spinks, pressuring the crowd going crazy in Las Vegas. Would this be the end of the reign for Muhammad Ali? This is the first time that Ali has lost since March 31st, 1973. But Dr. Ferdy Pacheco, what a way they went out here in Las Vegas. Brent, if this had been a year ago, we would have still had Muhammad Ali champion because if you'll follow the round, Spinks was exhausted and finished, but so was Ali. He played the price finally of being 36 years of age. Had this been last year when he still had the gas, he would have come on like he did with Shavers and finished. We're going to watch and show you exactly what Dr. Ferdy Pacheco was referring to because Spinks, so tired, is going to take punishment and you watch the champion unable to follow up. I'm going to say another thing. He's not just tired because of 36 years of age. He's tired because Spinks is on him and fighting like right a there. madman. That right hand slipped through on Spinks. <clears throat> He's taking some shots. But you see, so is Ali. Now here's where the old Ali would have gotten in gear. He's got him tired. He's got him on the ropes. He's hitting him. You see, Spinks won't quit. Now watch Ali's arms. He deserved to win. He deserved to win. He's fighting on memory. He's fighting on guts. He's fighting on courage. Whatever it is that makes a Marine Corps a winner makes Leon Spinks a winner. He's got the same kind of guttiness. Here are two men. A battle. 14 plus rounds. Closing out one of the great nights in the history of the heavyweight division. And if it's got to end for Ali, what a good note to end on. And Muhammad Ali did not quit sitting on a stool. He didn't quit being stretched on the canvas. He was still throwing it with all he had left at the age of 36 against the young lion who came here determined to take away this heavyweight championship and proved all of the critics all of the cynics and all of the experts so wrong. And once again, you know that odds don't make a difference, but when they ring the bell and you've got a lot of heart. I must say, I hope Muhammad Ali does not follow through on what he told Bob Halloran. I'm going to remember the great nights with Muhammad Ali, and I hope he has wound up his career. And we'll be back in Las Vegas, where we have crowned a new heavyweight champion in just a moment. always something very mixed about one's emotions at the death of a king and especially a king of the great strength and power and longevity of Muhammad Ali. Uh, I agree with everything that's been said here tonight so far. I think the pictures, especially the 15th round, have told it all. One would hope that Ali would not come back. He has been such a tremendous and long-reigning and classy champion and he certainly went out that way. But if he should come back, there are some problems, aren't there? Age was in that ring tonight. Age was probably a great ally of Leon Spinks to take nothing away from him. But age will always beat an athlete. And age now has got a firm hold on Muhammad Ali. 
but it was a night to be remembered, an upset of sorts, a surprise for a young man who had never gone past 10 rounds before for a fight that was supposed to be a mismatch. It's one that we'll remember for a long, long time. And we hope the best for both of them. Brent? Thank you very much, Jack. It has indeed.